Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first, live your absolute best life, and please be sure to get an amazing laugh on every single day. Hello my beautiful Pisces, hello my simply amazing cross watchers. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with this reading. First card out is the Ace of Wands. So you could be in that energy where you're learning something new. You could be finding somebody, maybe um, you could be finding out someone is pregnant or you're pregnant. Um, also, or you could be taking a spiritual path right now in your life. Then we or get learning more about a spiritual path that you're deciding that you or you want to learn more about something. Um then we have the three of wands waiting to see something come in or either ready to see something change in your life. Um, sort of kind of like just wanting to see happier times. We have the lover's card. So you could be really wanting to see a new love coming. You probably are sick and tired of somebody else, Pisces, and you just want to see somebody new come in. And I get you do have some sort of new love on the way. Um, I get that you need to be patient. <clears throat> you could feel like you've been patient enough. You've been waiting a very long time for the energy to change or something. Okay. Then you have the King of Cups. Yeah. Cause like, it's like something there. You want somebody that's going to match your energy. That's what I get, Pisces. Like, you really want somebody to match your energy. You want somebody who you can trust, who you know, that's going, that you can relate to. You know, they're not going to look at you as being too sensitive. And somebody who, you know, or that's not going to give up on you easily because they look at you as being too emotional or something. But somebody who understands the depth of your emotions. Then we have the four of swords. It's, it looks like you are um, in that energy where you are taking like a step back to think about something, to find out something, to get some, some information, um, to reflect upon something that is happening in your life right now. Then we have the tower moment. It's like you... So you could have recently had, or in the past, you know, you're, you could be reflecting upon a tower moment that you had with somebody in your past, like somebody who you was very much in love with, um, or somebody who you had a lot of deep emotions for. It's like you had to take a mental break, an emotional break, sort of do some reflecting. You could be thinking about, um, how you all were like something that they said or something that they did. It's like you're replaying it over in your mind or something. You're also thinking of how things ended between you all, like how you felt like you could trust them. It seemed this person seemed like the first, like the best choice. I mean, they seem like, like a good person, like somebody who you looked at as your dreams coming true. They could have came and stayed for a little while and then left again. Um, you thought that this person was sent to you to heal your heart, but it's like things for some reason did not work the wrong time. This, that's what I just heard, the wrong time. Like some, this could have been the wrong time for you all to um, connect or something. The Knight of Wands, a lot of fast moving energy, fast moving. You could have felt like you moved too fast with this person or something, like things moved at an accelerated rate with you and this individual. Things were very hot, heavy, and passionate. And then it just sort of sizzled out sort of quickly. Um, brought you all to a tower moment. I get that this person might be returning though, Pisces. Um, nine of wands, but it's like you're still guarded. You're still, it's like this person may be returning. Um, and you, st you're, it's like you're hesitant on even dealing with them because you don't want to go through what you went through in the past. With this individual, you've all you could feel like you've already been through enough, and you just you wish that they act right or something. Um, you you could want this person to come back to. You wanted them to sort of see the error of their ways. I 
get something about pride. That's what I get, like a prideful situation where it's like the only reason you're taking them back is to show that you're, you can handle a relationship with them or you can handle what they dish out. Like, don't be a gluttony for pain, Pisces. <laughs> like, don't be a gluttony for pain, you know? Okay. Then we have Uranus. That Uranus energy, which means like really focusing on something like King and on some information, really looking deeply, like looking at the bigger picture or something, um, looking at the larger picture or something. I get that you were dreaming, like you were, you were, you had big dreams for you and this person. This could have been a fire sign. There was a lot of passion, I guess, starting off and then it just changed. It was a lot of passion between you and this person started off. I get that this person is coming back though, Pisces. They could feel like they, it's like they still have a lot of passion for you. They could feel like that you're holding back your energy deliberately, like to make them upset or something, like you're deliberately holding back. Like this is somebody who you kind of want to be with, but you're, you know, you're not really being honest with yourself. You're sort of holding back how you really feel. This is how this person views this. Like the waiting game. I'm going to see if you will make the first move. I'm going to make, but I get that this person is coming back. They want to reunite with you or something. Remain positive. Yeah, Pisces, this person is trying to remain positive about the situation and hoping to see big, happy changes. They're hoping to see things that are going to work out between you all. They're trying to keep the faith um, then the card out. Yes. So again, like I said, Pisces, some of you all are giving somebody from your past another chance. Now, this could be a person who this doesn't have to be your very last ex. This could be just an ex from the past. Somebody who, you know, was further behind. This could be a Gemini. This could be a Scorpio. Um, this could be a, uh, fire sign. Or an air sign, because I see all of it out here. This could be a cancer. It's like this person desires you a lot. I guess that you eat, you desire them too. Um, things just didn't turn out the way that you all wanted them to turn out, or something. Spirit guide. So it's like you could have even been praying or like talking to your angels to bring you clarity, trying to, rank, to remain optimistic that this person was going to change for the better. But I get that. It, I just get the energy. This is somebody who comes and goes like they come in, they flow in your life. Things are very passionate for a moment and then they flow right back out, sort of leaving you there like desiring them to come back or something. And I get that this person is coming back. You could have, you could be patiently waiting for this person, um, sort of like wondering when they're going to reach out to you. Or I get that this person is sort of like playing the waiting game because they felt like they could feel like you did this to them. Like, okay, like you know, Pisces, I, I was, I came in or something like that. I tried to connect with you and you tried to play hard to get <laughs> um i get that this person is sort of like thinking that you're doing this to be spiteful to them like playing the waiting game like not contacting them not reaching out to them i get pisces inside you sort of feel like you want to reach out to this person or you want you want wish this person would reach out to you then we have courage so this could be with the Leo um, or either you're just you're having the courage to really stay away from this person. Um, it's like this person could have even been trying to distract themselves to stay away from you. Healing. Um, I get that it's a lot of healing that needs to be done in this connection. Like you need to heal. This person needs to heal. I get that they this healing has nothing to do with you in each. It's like, okay. So how? Let me say that. So it's like the healing is from 
old wounds that you all need to fix to be better people for each other. If you understand what I'm saying, Pisces, it's like, or cross watchers. It's like whoever this person is, they had their, when you met them, they were already wounded. When they met you, you were already wounded. Um, I get that you both need to be in that energy where you're healing for something like two wounded people connected. You all even could have been in that energy of who can who can hurt the other one the most. What is going on? <laughs> hey, Pisces, what's going on? Like who who like I can hurt you more than you can hurt me. No, I can hurt you more than you can hurt me. You know, that kind of energy. That's what I'm getting. Like you all kind of like don't really even think about the consequences of your actions. I get that both of you all were this way though. Like trying to up the other one, like, you know, and who could hurt the other one the most. I get that you both need to do you have it's like you all both like you both have unresolved issues that you need to work on because if you go through this phase again with this person, it's just gonna be the same toxic hat mess of a connection that it's always been. Um, because both of you need to heal from situations that don't need that did not uh arrive did it didn't arrive from you it didn't arrive from him or her or whoever it's like this is something from the past you need it didn't derive from this person doing something to you it, it or you doing something to this person the pain and the wounds were already there um it's just that this person it's like if you already had a wound and it had a scab starting to grow off over it, this person just pulled the scab off. Now the wound is raw again. Same thing with you, Pisces. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, I'm going to pull your scab. Okay, you pull my scab off. Now I'm going to pull your scab off and, and throw some alcohol on it, you know. And I mean, and, and, and then they come back, I'm going to pull your scab off, throw some alcohol on it and then push you down so you can scrape your knee again. So it's like, it's like you both went back and forth trying to see who can hurt the other one the worst, you know, not a childish energy, <laughs> Woo. but both of you all need to heal. Hope, hope is always there. Even if you can't be seen, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. I'm telling you, both of you all really need to heal from something. Um, deal with your demons from the past and then you all can be better people for each other. You can be a better, healthy, healthy, have built a healthier connection or something. Then it says life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that need to be healed. I just said, I've been talking about that. Like y'all need to heal something. Both of you all need to heal something from the past. Um, that has nothing to do with it, either one of you all. Like I said, it derived from this person going through something long before they met you. You going through something long before you met them and, and two wounded souls united. And hell begun. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Pisces. It's like a match made in hell. Mm, mm, mm. I get that this person is coming back though for round two, round three, round four. I'm not sure what round y'all are on. It's like y'all keep repeating these cycles. Okay, then we have the courageous, the courageous peony. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Yes, yeah, so it's like you need to show the true you and you need to be real with yourself. Because Pisces, I get that there are a lot of different situations that you need to address in your own personal life. This person also has a lot of different situations that they need to look at and admit to that they have a lot of different things that they have let fall by the wayside and not really dealt with. Um, I get that both, if you all heal yourself in your different houses in life, then, you know what I mean? Like sweep off all your own porches first. You know how that, that saying goes, sweep off your own porch before you point out somebody else's porch is dirty. But it's like you all need to clean up your own houses first. 
financial houses, emotional houses, uh, mental houses, you know, um, uh, physical house. Both of you all need to clean that up within yourselves first. And then you can sort of be a, a healing force or like a um, better person overall for each other. Because I get that y'all keep, repeat, uh, um, keep going through cycles. Like I said, this is, shit, this is a match made in hell. <laughs> like constantly look at listen i said a match made in hell and listen to the daggone siren going on I'm telling you that's the energy i get like a lot of combustion things you know a lot of warnings of so you really do i get that you may even need to like um i get that you you kind of wish this person will reach out to you they're wishing you would reach out to them but i get that one of you all are going to make the first move um but it's like, why make the first move to get back into something toxic? The void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmos wound. Yeah. So I get that this person sucks you in to the abyss, like to a void, you know, the void. This person sucks you in. And you're surrounded by darkness in this connection. Both of you all are surrounded by darkness. You, you sort of like gravitate towards each other looking for something that cannot be seen or found in the other person. Um, but I get that you all need to sort of like, because there's, there's a hole that needs to be filled, that needs to heal. And you ain't a hole that needs to be healed in this person. And it's like you all suck people in into your lives and then, you know, wonder why into this this hole with no no real security to hold on to, nothing really to hold you down from floating all over the place. Um and banging up against things, and when you had enough. It's like, you know, okay, it hurts so good, but then now I've had enough. Now let me move on. You know, so that's the energy that I'm getting, Pisces. <clears throat> this person may be contacting you soon, or you could have reached out to this person recently or something during these winter months. person also may be asking you, you know, are you willing to have a baby with them or something? Or are you pregnant? Or did you get somebody pregnant? I get that that may be part of the conversation. Peace. I am, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yeah. So it's time for both of you all to find peace with them. I get that. Then you can find peace with each other. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So you got to be disciplined. So you'll, you know, you'll be able to work through this and this person will be able to work through this. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So you both, I get need to have empathy with one another. I get that you both are damaged goods and that's, you know, it is what it is, Pisces. Um, but I get that you both need to sort of work on each other, find that inner peace within each other um, and be disciplined. Like, don't give up. Like, put, if you have, if this person contact you, when they do contact you, because they are, when this person contact you or either you're reaching out to them, um, it's like you need to be disciplined and really sort of like, you know, take things really slow and pay attention to if this person is dis uh, displaying red flags again. I get that they are going to display red flags. Um, and I get that you sort of have overlooked them in the past. Because like I said, you know, it hurts so good. They disrespect you, your heart crying, you know, your heart broke, you're crying and everything is going on. And then you know, they come back and you let them back to get hurt all over again. Or either you're doing this to somebody. I get that you both really need to heal. See things from the other person's point of view. Have empathy for each other. Um, 
and really do a lot of self-reflecting and healing in both of you also. I'm just, I'm a Pisces. I'm gonna go ahead and take these cards up because I don't know what is going on. I keep hearing a, ha a match made in hell. Like I don't even know if this is somebody who you need to even be considering getting back with because I I don't see um healthiness in this. I really don't. I don't see any healthy you know um behavior. I just, you know, I kind of see like combustion, <laughs> like something blowing up, you know, something like that. Okay, Pisces and Cross Watchers, please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Talk with you soon.